Hi, I'm Dr. Jekyll. Today, I want to talk about the nature of probability and statistics. Why do you need to learn statistics? You need to learn statistics because first, you need to understand the various statistical studies. Secondly, you need the statistical knowledge to conduct research. Thirdly, you need statistics so that you can become a better consumers and citizens. So the objective of learning this chapter are you need to know the statistical terms, you need to differentiate between the two branches of statistics, you need to identify several types of data and measurement level, you need to know the basic or the four basic sampling techniques, you need to differentiate the observational and experimental study, and also you need to know how statistics can be used and misused. Variable and data. So what is the meaning of variable and data? Variable is a characteristic or attribute that can assume any different values. So the values that the variables can assume is we call data. So basically, there are two main areas of statistics. The first one is descriptive statistic. In this area, we need to collect, organize, summarize, and present our data. In inferential statistics, we generalize the sample to populations, and then we perform the estimations and the hypothesis test on a sample, and we can determine the relationship among the variables in samples and making a prediction. This illustration shows the connection between the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. In descriptive statistics, we need the sample. From the sample, we compute several variables such as the mean, the mod median, various deviation, and from these numbers also, you can come up with some presentation like graph and chart. So after we obtain this information, then you can use the information to come up with some hypothesis and estimation toward the population. Classification of variables. Variables can be classified into two types, qualitative and quantitative. For quantitative, consists of discrete variable and continuous variable. So, what are the example for all this classification? For qualitative, it can be gender, religion, state, or country. For quantitative, it can be age, height, or weight. And then, for this quantitative variable, you can separate into two types as follows. So, these are the definitions for each of these terms. Types of measurement scales. There are four types of measurement scales for the variable, such as nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. The first one is nominal. Nominal is a scale that considers the data that can be grouped into several categories and does not consider the ranking of the data, such as gender, religion, state, or country. Second one is ordinal. Ordinal is a type of scale that classifies the data and group them into several categories and consider the ranking, such as grade and rating scale. For interval, the data must be in terms of number, such as CGPA, IQ, and body temperature. However, the data does not consider zeros. And lastly, ratio. Ratio is a type of scale for a variable that takes the numerical data or numbers, such as height, weight, salary, or age, and will take the zero as an input for this variable. These are the definition for all these terms.
basic sampling methods. There are four types of basic sampling methods that we can use to take sample for our statistical studies. The first one is the random sampling. For this method, we select our sample by using the random numbers. For example, if we number each of the item in the population like this, then we can select every random numbers out of this population as our sample. The second method is the systematic sampling. For this method, we select the subjects as our sample by using every k number after we select the first subject from 1 through k. For example, let's say we have this numbered item in the population. We select the second item as our first subject and then we plus 3 to get the second subject and we plus another 3 to get the third subject and we do continuously until we get the sample. So the sample comes from every third number item from the population. The third method is called stratified sampling. For this method, we select the subjects as our sample by dividing up the population into several groups that call strata. And then the subjects within the groups are randomly selected. For example, from this population, we divide into several groups as follows. And then for every group, we randomly select any item and we take it out to become our sample. And method number four is the cluster sampling. For this method, we select the subjects as our sample by using an intact group that is representative of the population. For example, let's say we have this type of clustered population. From this clustered population, we select any group out of this clustered population to get the sample. Types of statistical studies. There are two types of statistical studies that we can do. The first one is observational studies. In this type of study, we just need to observe what is happening or what has happened in the past and we draw the conclusions based on our observations. The second one is experimental studies. For this study, we need to manipulate one of the variables and try to determine how the manipulation influences other variables. There are several advantages and disadvantages between these two types of statistical studies. For observational study, it can occur in a natural setting. It can be done in a situation where it would be unethical or dangerous to do the experiment and it can be done using the variables that cannot be manipulated. However, in this type of study, we cannot show the cause and effect situation because other factors may have an effect on the result. And also, it could be expensive and time-consuming and inaccurate. For experimental studies, we can decide how to select the subjects and how to assign them to specific groups and we can control and manipulate the independent variables. However, this experimental study may occur in unnatural settings, might have potent effect, and also might consist of several confounding variables. Statistics also can be misused. These are several types of misuse of statistics. The first one is about suspect samples. The example is like this. If I say 3 out of 4 students love my YouTube channel, I can claim the statement like that if I consider the sample size is only 4 students. But if the sample size increase, that means the number could be different. Second one is ambiguous averages, meaning that there is no clear mean, mode, or median. So the researcher can choose any type of averages as like mean, mode, or median in order to support the claim because the mean, mode, median can be different to each other 
based on the data distribution. The third one is changing the subject. It is like if it's changing from percentage to number, it can give different perspective or can provide different information to different type of people. The fourth one is detached statistic. So for example, our brand of crackers has one third fewer calories. For this type of misuse, they didn't mention any comparison. It is like if this brand of crackers has one third fewer calories, then one third fewer calories than which type of company? So it just hanging sentence like this. The fifth one is implied connections. It is like eating fish may help to reduce your cholesterol. Actually, our cholesterol can be reduced not only eating fish but also do some physical exercise, eat more vegetable and many more. The sixth one is misleading graph. From the data, they can manipulate or draw different graph that does not reflect from the data. And the last one is the faulty of survey questions. To end this video, I would like to share a quote from Benjamin Disraeli, which was of the former Prime Minister of Great Britain. He said, there are three kinds of lies. Lies, damp lies, and statistics. Lies is a normal lie. You can know you're being lied by somebody in a short time. Damp lies. Damp lie is a lie that you know you've been lied by somebody after you have been badly impacted from that lie. And statistic. Statistic is a type of lie that you have no choice but to accept it as the truth. So that's all from me. Thank you. And don't forget to do the tutorial one, yeah?